Welcome back to Stay Tuned. We have a super killer episode today. Derek from Vice Grip Garage has just showed up all the way to our shop here in Pennsylvania because we have a killer project. This is actually Derek's car, but he's never seen it yet. I found a 66 Ford Fairlane old drag car. I don't think it's seen any action in probably 40 years. And I said, you gotta buy this thing. And he was like, I'm in. And about a year later, he finally jumped on a plane, he's up here, and we're gonna get this thing up, running, and ripping down the road, and I cannot wait. This car is wicked cool. I can't wait for Derek to see it, and he's right here, so let's let him in. Good? Yo! Hey. Welcome to Pennsylvania, buddy. Is this the right place? This is it. Okay, oh man, it's shiny. Sorta. This is it. Crap. So yeah, it is a full-on, I feel like, Pretty proper drag car, 66 Fairlane, uh, original 394 speed car. Wow. Th that, if you recall, was quite a steal. Yes, it was. Did you tell the story about how this all transpired? Not, no, nothing yet, really. Yeah, so he messages me. This is his fault, basically. That's correct. And he says, dude, check out this car. Well, I had to have it. It's good. But, you know, I'm in Tennessee. He's here. This poor guy's been storing it for me for how long has it been it's got to be a year at least think, right two years at least yeah. this is the first time i'm seeing it the pbr can overflow alone it's solid <laughs> this car is full of great stuff with the interior is sick it's got like the single roll you know half a roll bar the old bus seat oh yeah that'll do nothing yeah wow so 66 this is the year they changed look like the galaxy basically. yeah it looks all the front the two front lights up and down dude the sparkle wheel yeah a bunch of old Stuart Warner gauges. It was a four-speed car originally. Please tell me that's a shift light. I think it is. That old trailer light, yeah. I think that's a shift light. The turn signal? It has some wild Mallory box in it. You wanna pull this off? Like from probably the 70s. Shift it sideways. Hey guys, we have a ton of Stay Tuned merch back in stock. All of this stuff is printed in PA by my old buddy Ralph. And uh, we've got all the classics here. We've got the, we're gonna lose the shop shirt. Stay tuned hats, Angelo's Garage Gym, the Cyclone shirt, and of course the original Stay Tuned Garage shirt. So click the link, order up some fresh threads, and we appreciate every order. All right, let's make horsepower. There we go. We'll, we'll fix that later. So it doesn't run? That's what you're it does saying? not run. Put on the seat. Oh. Ran one part. Huh. So did you guys decode this? I don't know how to decode this. Mm -hmm. We did. The, did you look at the I VIN? Tried, I tried to. He said it's a 390. So it's a G, it's the GT actually. Yeah. yeah. That's it's got 500 cool. emblems on it. You can huh. see it had some old school nitrous set up. There's a bottle in the bag. There's a rack for the bottle in the bag. <laughs> this is copper line, huh? Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's, it's pretty wicked. You got yourself a little little bump starter bump button right there in case you want to work by yourself. So it's probably a solid lifter, high RPM. I would think. NA nitrous kind of deal. Wow. That's pretty rad. Look, at this, look at this cross member. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they did a little work there with a hot <laughs> wrench for sure. Apparently, <clears throat> this is just supposed to be open, sort of, but not down there. Yeah, not down not there. Not down there. Up here, yes. There, that part, not so much. That's we could add a little bit of metal to that if you're feeling flimsy. <sighs> you're a little queasy about it. But what is nice, so this has, uh, these guys are from, like, there's lots of racing here in Pennsylvania. Yeah. It always has been. Uh, like Grumpy Jenkins is from like 20 minutes away. What a Jungle legend. Jim was yeah. like 20 minutes away. S&W Race Cars, which has been building chassis for 50 years, yeah. 60 years. They got the S&W keychain on there. And underneath, this thing's all tied up with big box tube, you know, yeah. frame connectors. And I'm sure those are, I think that's S&W work from probably before we were born. So this thing was terrorizing the streets long time I would ago. think for a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's wicked cool. You know, some dodgy sheet metal work, but it's, the frame is solid, and uh, it looks pretty good. It's got some pretty decent-sized tubs on it, too. I was just going to ask, does it have a trunk floor or tubs or Something. Anything? It's got something. You want to look at it? <laughs> yeah, let's see. There's some metal back there. Somebody put some in. <laughs> I, in my head, I, I didn't remember it being shiny. It's, it's kind of got a look to it. The paint on one part of it's peeling off, but yeah, it, it might clean. We haven't cleaned it or anything yet. None of this closes yet. 
Oh, is he just manhandling it? Just, we got her. Oh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's some homebred. Well, this is the same frame as the front cross member, so the... Yeah, they had some extra laying around. The trailer that donated the turn signal for the shift light, this must be the frame to that. that. Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, some old snow plow or something. Pretty wild. I'm gonna guess that's not the original gas tank. Yeah, I wonder what that's added. You know, I would have almost said yes because of the hose clamp. Yeah. But this threw me off a little. That's not spec. Yeah. I like how he still has a gauge. <laughs> He's like, it's working. It's going somewhere. We have hood hinges. There's the old nitrous bottle mount. This is awesome though. Like this is like a testament to when men were men. It, oh, did, yeah. it didn't matter. Didn't care. It, it was just how fast can we get this thing to go? There was zero care about the bomb back here. They're like just shimmy it in there. Good. Do we? We should probably order a fuel cell then, huh? I'm gonna need more than four gallons. You think? Yeah. We can. Do we have another shelf? We might have one laying around. <laughs> yeah. That's one more gallon. It ends right there. Do you guys have like a Jags or a Summit? Jags no. or a Summit? We have over, we have shipping. People ship stuff here pretty fast. Do they? We don't have any giant. The biggest warehouse, Summit's Ohio, so it's not, it's not too bad. Hmm. Okay. Noted. Yeah. Do you, oh yeah, this is, this felt like you. This is the whole, I'm going oh, down there. See that? Yes. I like it. Oh, 1776. Oh. So yeah, at some point, someone cared about this thing back in the 70s for sure. It's wicked. Yeah. So you think 40 years this has been off the road, huh? I would think. Just based on the cage and what the tires looked like, those tires are, the ones that, these, the tires in the front, we couldn't even, they had holes in them. Looked like somebody chewed through them. So, <laughs> so we had to, we had to like, you know, swap these around and put some yeah. off my Polara and stuff. But, uh, just the fact that this is what they're running around on. Phillips 66, these well, boys. Oh well, yeah, they're biased, yeah. Yeah, so. full on Man, safety if, action tread. So you're good with those. If I actually get this home, I'm gonna have to put bias pies back on it. Yeah, it's so good. And these are the tires you picked up for it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. just to help with the gearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Well, this is going to be rad. Yeah. So we don't necessarily have a plan either, other than this needs to run in a couple days. Yeah, you got to, you're going to drive it home. That's the plan. Okay. Step one, I hear a lot of drive it home. Nah, he's going to do great. <laughs> and we're super stoked to have you here, by the way. Thanks for coming all the way up, man. We're well, very thanks excited for having for the week. Me. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I know you guys have worked your tail off even to get to this point. I haven't done nothing yet, so I've, I feel kind of guilty. No you way. Just join the party. You're going to take that. Yeah, we, all, we threw a little <laughs> motor together. That's it. Oh, Wait. yeah, the Craigslist Rebo. Oh, it's right here. There she is. Is that it? Yeah, it's got to be, right? It's not the one with the dry sump. It's this one over here. What? That's oh. something else. No. <laughs> what? What oh. is this? No. That's for another thing we're doing. That's a cup car motor I bought. Oh. That's for something else. That'll do something. Talk. I saw the mechanical fuel pump stuff on it. That one's a serious unit. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's a dry sump. That's a that suckle, dude. Yeah. For now, yeah, don't worry about it. Huh. Here's over here. Okay. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Just we tossed the carburetor on a little old 30 roller 302. We got a T5. So this would be like a mouse stang engine. There you go, yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Roller upper. Up here they call them crust stangs, rust stangs. Yeah. Ask Barb, he's a, he's a Mustang guy. He's our resident Mustang dude. A little yeah, dual plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll make a couple horsepower. Is this a FLA one? <laughs> uh, we painted over it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. What's the ARP head bolts? Don't worry about it. it don't, it's, they came on it. I don't know. We had to have. Yeah. It's got aluminum heads on it. It dude. does not. Don't worry about it. I can see it with my eyeballs right there. Did you put heads on this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. We did some oh, stuff. Oh, we did some stuff. Yeah, no, it's gonna jam pretty good. <laughs> What the heck? What are they, Chinese or something? Where do you... We shave the words off. Don't no. worry about it. They're secrets. How'd you do that? Oh, just... 
Oh, I feel it. Okay. All right, so the ruse is over. Yeah, we got so we got a pretty nasty cam in it. It's Summit Heads 202 160 valves. It's like 550 lift. It should scream. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, she's going to jam. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. We couldn't put some boring ass engine in there. Well, I'll send you an invoice. Oh, wait, it's the other way around. I think that's the other way. <laughs> yeah, I don't You can. It might not get paid. Dude, if it wasn't for the bolts, I don't think I would have figured I it thought, out. We don't understand. Every time oh. we get some cool motor with cool head bolts, Barb buys six point bolts. Every time, and I'm like, get the cool ones. And the one time he gets the cool ones, I'm like, we wanted the, not the cool ones. It's yeah. Like, it's all right. Sweet. Well, I saw your thumbnail you sent me. It obviously runs, right? There was fire shooting and stuff. It does. I dialed it. We went back in. A couple people were like, that's a lot of lift for that motor. So the other night I came in, I put clay in it. I ran it through. I double checked everything. I put the right hardened push rods in it. So we should be in business. The valves ain't shaking hands with the pistons. No, they're that. close, but they're all right. Yeah. I well, did go, yeah, so I went back through. When we did it, I, we ran it, like, it was, you know, you know, have you ever, like, done, like, a last-minute thrash to get a car together? Never. Okay, no. so let me explain to you what that's like. <laughs> so we had to get this thing running while we were building V12 headers at the same time because we knew the V12 headers would take more than a week because yeah. we're not good at it. Those guys are, like, better at it, but it, it's, like, V12, there's 12 of them. Yeah, so I much don't. more than eight. Yeah. So we were like, okay, let's... Uh, <laughs> Let's also at the same time, we'll put a motor together for Derek. And we did, but then like the push rods got back ordered and whatever. So I, we just slapped it together. And some people were like, hey, that's a lot of lift for that, these heads. So I went back through. Uh, and also they were like, hey, dum dum. And I've been drinking Barb's Italian moonshine. We've been wild. So I, didn't, I forgot moonshine? the sealer and the heads. Drank it uh, yeah, oh. don't drink that. That's, that's acetone. Don't drink that. It's close, oh. but it's not the same. Let's <laughs> say, so what's the difference? <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so I came back through. I sealed the heads up right. I checked the piston and valve clearance. It's legit. Um, it's close, but it's work. It's workable. These have the factory valve relief, so I think that helped us a little bit. We could just float it in the parking lot, and if it's going to break, it'll break right here. Oh yeah, yeah. You no, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So we went back and dialed it all in last night. We took there were these ribbed valve covers, these street rotting valve covers. So we milled them down and painted wow. them up. Wow, ready to rock. Well, thanks guys. Yeah, dude, this That's should be good. Amazing. It should this get you down the road. To be just rattle canned and a carbon intake, I think, the last time we talked. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well, it's getting some heads and a nasty cam. I have like a $1,400 budget on this car. <laughs> that's <all> right. <laughs> I think it's spent. Yeah, you're going to be that's all right. That's cool, man. Yeah. Well, Summit Racing was down to help out a little bit, so we're going to cool. be all right. Yeah, it's your jam, dude. You know what? <laughs> I've done nothing but forage for like two months now. So Same. Totally I don't sense. even know. I, every time yeah. I'm like, we started last episode, I'm like, oh, listen, I know it's not a Ford channel, we're doing another one. Like, I know, it's just like you fall into it and it's like, well, whatever. You're coming fresh off a of Thunderbird? Yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, I just built a F100 and then just did a Thunderbird, big block Thunderbird. Now I'm here doing a Fairlane slash Galaxy, so pretty yeah. sweet. All right. Well, you're we should get, get this in there with the transmission and get a drive shaft, probably first thing. I know right? exactly what's going yeah. on. You haven't been here two minutes. All right. I'm going to get the center section out of my truck for the nine inch. Perfect. And we'll... We'll get rocking. Do you guys use back cherry pickers or how do you throw these in around here? I got a gantry crane. Woo! Yeah. You weren't kidding. Yeah, it goes the whole length of the shop. It's the best. Look at these timbers. Yeah. This shop was built in the 40s Have or late 30s for World War II. And then they, like a lot of the big gunships, they made the barrels here. Actually, oh. the, like, so they would, they are giant boring machines and lathes and whatever. And then the back here is a false floor. The, the barrels were so long that they had to have a boring machine that went from the basement to the ceiling. That's crazy. So it was pretty cool. Not to be weird, but I've got to smell your wood. Okay. Get nuts. <laughs> that's, not, that's not weird. <sighs> wow. You can smell all the machine oil and cigars. Oh yeah. This place could talk, man. It's cool. It's a, it's a, it's, yeah, we love this place. Also, you haven't lost your half inch yet. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna... Okay, well, let's get to work, huh? We saved you one. Thanks. You're so welcome. I think that Appreciate might actually that. be the nitrous, nitrous switch. Oh, yeah, that's is. what that is. Yeah. That is a that's off a lamp. That's amazing. That's sick. The guy would come out. I guarantee during every race, yeah. like have to bend it over. And go, yeah. I missed yeah, it. The that. nitrous ain't turning on. Look at the fire he's, got, he's got tape on it, so it gets a little wetter. Yeah. <laughs> when he's mashing it so hard, he's bending metal. He wants his nitrous yeah. so bad. That guy parties. Oh, I bet, oh, I bet it was flat. It was supposed to be flat. Like you got it. I hope this dude comes out of the woodworks in the comments.
Simmons. That always I'm going to post this thing in like two seconds people. and be like, if you know the history of this, still, yeah, yeah. Like, lay it on me. Car. Absolutely. Yeah, I kind of don't want to change much. Well, I wouldn't. No. I, the only thing is, I looked, I realized the other day, I don't know if you noticed, but we try to stay underneath like five foot ten max here. Yeah. So I look at that seat. I think there's like zero percent chance try of fitting it? in that thing. It's pretty tight and it doesn't, it doesn't slide. Oh, man. I, I, don't <laughs> I was like, man, there's something about a foot between the wheel and the... I don't think, I don't think this is going to work, Tony. Oh, my leg. <laughs> I really don't know if it's going to happen. You might want to come in from the passenger side. That looks good. No, nah, you're good. I was wrong. That looks no, fun. I think it's good. Yeah. The, oh, the floorboard's a little... Brad, Brad. Yeah, that's going to be fine. What is this? Family photo. See that? What? No. <gasps> I didn't even notice that. Now we know. There's two kids. Yeah. Is this your daddy's car? Let us know. I like this, man. He just had all the buttons, like all. This was high tech nitrous. in 1980 for sure. Or fuel 75. Pressure. Two fuel, oh, one must have been his tank. Nitrous, because he had fuel pressure here. Yeah. He's got one off the other regulator. Man, this guy. It's party. pretty wicked. I like it. I'm not, help me get out. <laughs> I'm going this way. <laughs> I'll go that way. Roll out. There you go. That's the move. Oh, it's got keys. And they work. So, main stuff, I think Derek's right. We got to get the, the drive shaft figured out first. So, the motor and trans need to find a home in here. And the, somebody's got to throw the center section in the drive shaft, the third member in the, in the rear end. Oh, yeah. So, I suppose the, the Gusenheimer sticking out of the. It's probably different than the one in there. There's nothing in There's there. There's nothing in there. Oh, it's empty. It's just empty. That's why it rolls so it good. Rolls real good. Yeah. Best rolling car ever. Yeah. Uh, do we know if the axle shafts are the original to the nine? That the spine counts? We got a spine. Yeah, 28. We got okay. 28. Nice. Three times it's not our first. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Counting's hard, man. It's hard. It can it's be hard. Once you get over 15, it's hard. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> How many times did you count it? Because me, it takes like 30. Yeah. Because you lose your finger, your finger moves every well, time. He's at the other shop, and we didn't have markers or lights or anything. So I'm like finding leaves off the floor, to like mark one. This is the most barbed thing ever. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, I hope. I'll let you know when it goes in there. Oh. Uh, well, what do we do for uh, motor mounts? And so here's the story at the moment. So this is a big block factory car. And essentially, those would pick up a big block happily, but not ours because the rubber's in the other spot. Mm -hmm. So we have the stuff that bolts to this motor. We found a guy that has these. He'll, we can pick them up at five today. We're on the crunch a little bit. So we can either get our accessory drive and trans all dialed up, and then Zach will run out and get those mounts, and we can do a drop-in situation, or we can start getting the welder out and some tube and get wild. I'd rather go drop-in. Um, yeah, we don't have brakes. So let's do drop in. Yeah. Because brakes are going to be Wild. six months on this. Yeah. yeah. We have them. They're just you in a box. You can't find them literally anywhere. Like, I messaged a guy on eBay that was selling other shit, and I saw it in the corner of his picture. I was like, those are the mounts I need. Yeah. I hit him up a week ago. He just got back to me this morning. He's like, hey, man, I have those. I'm like, cool. Can we go and get them mm. right now? And he's like, what? So they're big block to roller Ford adapter Rooney? No, thing? the 302s, they're just small block, so like block like mounts. The, the small block ones come up higher and then the bolt goes through. So like on the, so we have the rubber mounts that bolt. We have the isolator that bolts to the motor. The, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we'll have so a bolt in. This is just the frame mount, the pedestal. Gotcha. We do have to make a trans cross member because there's something back there. Easy peasy. That's no big deal. We got two trans cross members in the trunk holding the fuel tank in. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Maybe add a little metal back. We also have here. that that loop down one that we never used. Yeah, we got a S and W kit laying around for sure. We'll be all right. Make something right off of those cell frame connectors. Yeah, that, oh for sure. We could do tabs yeah. and just do the rib nut that thing in. Don't yeah. worry about that. Rib nuts. It never came out, dude. It That's worked. It's still in there. Risa still drives that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not the reason it doesn't go in reverse. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's true. That ain't it. That's something else. Absolutely not. But yeah, man, it's a, especially for here, it's a solid car. Yeah. You know what it's like. Oh, yeah. It looks like he rolled the fenders. 
You it know does. They got some bounce out to them. This yeah. must have had a huge tire on it. Yeah, they. Yeah, I think he did the bat oh, trick. Oh, check on those wheels. Go grab them. The upstairs guy. I don't know if they're running real car starts, but they felt heavy. Oh, yeah, he had her trimmed out and everything. He had some big boys on here. Dude, you see this? The, the tub inside has got to be 10 inches across. Yeah. He I mean, it looks like a weld, but that is not weld yeah. weight. I'll tell you that much. These might be craters. The crater ones were like twice as heavy. Trying to find this fuel tank. The what? Yeah. What do you think that's from? Evap control. I mean, it would have to go like in a quarter panel of a car or somewhere very strange. This might be off a of Volvo or something. Is it from America? Model TE, 20, it's a 21 liter. How many gallons is that? That looks better. Yeah, those will do. Qualifier. Give them a scrub and, because what do we have tire size wise? You want to run the 275s on these? I have 275, 60s and 215s, 70s. Okay. We could get some 295 50s too, but who, only hang The 60s are going to look better in the wheel wells, I think, a little taller. Okay. Like, those look weenie. These are awesome, but you got to slam the car down. Yeah. These on a second gen, it's the best size ever. Canada. All right, you got new uh, Torquemheims? Yes, right here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I forgot my Leatherman at the motel. You got your what? Leatherman. Damn. I feel Please. like I'm naked. That's Let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can find something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hold a knife all day, or I'm gonna panic. <laughs> on, start. There's a little flipper on the back. Oh, jeez! Almost lost my finger. Here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's a, that's a felony in all the states. I don't need this fancy thing. I got this over here now. <laughs> no, I think it's funny. I'll get you an actual thing. That's probably not that sharp. I think it's a letter opener from the 1800s, actually. It's, that's straight from Italy, buddy. My buddy pretended to be a cop to buy that thing somehow online. It was like, are you a cop? Yes. And they sent it over. It's that easy. It's that easy. Pretty, pretty stringent, yeah. I asked my local boy who was a cop, he's like, I'm like, is this a serious problem? Is it Bluetooth? How do you close it? Here, try one of these. Oh. Yeah, there we go. All right. Thank you. It's in my bib pocket if you need it. Yeah, I doled this thing out for safety, obviously. <laughs> Your time. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Nine o'clock your time? Your yeah. time. So what's the opposite? It's like three o'clock my time. What are we saying? This is like a bunch of country songs. Yeah, I like it. I'm trying to get you in your element here. Let's see. Mm, might be it. No. Nailed it. No. Down here. It's coming around. A little bit lower. More like eight o'clock. 8.30? Yeah, like... I'm always a little late usually, like 15 minutes. Late. That's the only way it'll go on and it's take away. Yeah, that's about yeah. 750. That's a serious clutch. For the serious man doing serious driving. <laughs> Pace. Yeah. Can you add some echo that on that? I think comes with a pack of reds. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, more realistic either. size. You got the half inch, don't you? Oh, there's one right here behind you. I need this El Sacate. I'll oh, grab one. Oh. You got what you wish for, but it's not what you want. You got what you wish for, but it's not what you want.
We gotta do the throw out bearings. Gotta sit on that thing. What? The hydraulic guy. I don't know how these T12s work. Let me figure it out. Oh, right, I see. What? No. Oh, it snaps on this do hammer? <laughs> it is. Oh, this thing popped wheelies, man. See how that's all twisted? Oh, yeah. Hear that, Russo? I like wheelies. I'm into that. Yeah. Inboard shock mount, front mount. Yeah, ladder bars. Are they well? They are definitely welded right to the axle tube. Okay, we're just going hard on it. What? <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> the ladder bars are just welded. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to stop looking at it, I think. So American Powertrain hooked us up with a conversion kit because this car, you know, hold on. Because this was originally a cable clutch and this thing was Z-bar and we're going to skip both of those. Go right to hydraulic on hydraulic. So it's their proper like Hydromax American Powertrain regular release system, but they have this Check sick bolt-in pedal that houses the master cylinder. They just came out. I don't even think it's on the on the count. Is that out yet, Barb? Officially? The under dash guy. Anyway, it's call Matt and tell him Tony sent you if you want to buy one of these if you have a fair lane. It's there. It's awesome. Make this saves so much time. So much time and so much wonky lining up. Yeah, it's very cool. Pedal geometry. So instead of having to do like drill a hole in your stock piece, have some long wonky threaded rod that goes to a remote master down here. It's literally all here. It's fully built and it's, I don't even think you could break this thing. Look at that, look at those welds. It looks Sasquatch approved. Yeah. Okay. Bell housing on, tighten it up, right? Yep. Let's run two bolts in quick. Jeez. How the box it works. This is a Ford though. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be upside yeah. down backwards. I this is a hard ruler to read. Three and five eighths, don't forget that. Write it down, okay? Thanks. Okay, that's A. Done. Now B. All right. Oh. Or you said the hard on's one today. You say a hard on? <laughs> All right, now measure that thing to that thing. Right, the mounting face here to that sucker. It's three and a half right there. We were three and five eighths, correct? Yes. Yeah. That's Eighth of an inch in this state, I'm pretty sure. You said quarter, wait, say it again. We we're three and five eighths. Yeah. This is three and a half. Yeah, perfect. That's an eighth, right? Well, yeah, 125. That and falls according right to the book, it says winner. Winner. Go winner ahead. already. Boom. Nailed it. All right. The best thing you want to do is just throw it in. Okay. Do all that math. All right, sweet. Well, that was easy enough. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen a ladder bar mounted with one bracket? Yeah. I wonder why they're twisted. Yes. I think so. Could be anybody's guess. You just hang it out here, it's fine. You can start doing stuff in double shear. Go nuts. Wait, is this the brake line? Or the, or the nitrous line running right above the drive <laughs> That's the brake line. Oh. This is before they had bulkhead fittings. I mean, we could put, we could get rid of the, to, the, the narrow rear end, probably. You can move these all back where they're supposed to be if you really want to get nuts. Pretty good buy. Pretty good. Pretty solid. I like yeah, these quarter inch nuts holding the uh, cross support. It's that we're going to fix, yeah. We're going to weld some metal in there for sure. <laughs> I don't think I put my whole... My whole kit and caboodle in those quarter inch and four quarter inch nuts right there. We were not men like this dude though. This guy was an animal. 
He tied his dog to the, yeah. when he's at the track. So nobody steals anything. This is how he pulled himself out of the sand because drum is breaks. It, is that the tow hook? Oh, yeah. Man, I'm going to have to put on more Brute before I drive this thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a little uh, trans cross number scenario preemptively. And it looks like there's a numerous slotted holes in the uh, subframe, we'll call it, for probably automatics or manual transmissions. But we got this cross member, uh, I think from s and maybe? I'm just going to put a couple of little brackets on it and then we can slide it and drill the holes later once the engine and trans is in the car, but figured get some, get some moves being made here. Yeah, right about there. Right in the heart of it, right through the bus seat. Uh, about six inches or so past. No, it's going to be like right. It's pretty close, man. Really? I thought it was so much farther back. I grabbed that piece of tube and I'm holding it out here and I'm like, that's why I just measured. This is the original trans cross member. Well, for making this custom, here. let's just put it in crooked and it'll fit right through the hole. Exactly. <laughs> hey, this seal is only hard as a rock. That's pretty good. It might hold oil. What is this out of? A Mustang. 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 His whole drivetrain is out of a GT. Oh, man. GT life. Yeah, dude. I like it. That's what I was saying. We're working on this thing next to our V12 Mustang. I'm like, if we put this in there, we'd be driving it in like two hours, but <laughs> yeah. we're too dumb for all that. <laughs> we'll put this in a fair lane. We'll put a V12 in the Mustang and we'll keep on working and never leave the shop. That's how we do it. So we're waiting on engine mounts to be able to bolt this thing in so we don't have to like fab up some from scratch. So we're going to start attacking everything else. The goal is to get the drive shaft measurement to the drive shaft guys as quick as we can so they can start making it. Um, so Derek's gonna start tearing the brake lines off. We'll throw the third member in the diff as soon as it's cleaned up. And uh, we're just gonna leave the motor and trans sitting there. He's got the transmission on there. It took me nine hours to get the uh, alternator bracket on. I did that. <laughs> and we're gonna keep on rocking. <laughs> Loud noises. I need power tool so it looks like I'm working too. Let him settle in. Oh boy. Holy Yes! She rocks. 150 bucks saved. <laughs> that? Yeah. Can't, can't kill that blue pump. Oh no, not anymore. We think that smells like. Yeah. Oh, it's mostly water. Yeah. It gets you drunk though. Mm -hmm. Good. Awake. I'm awake. That classic. That's. Dude, that might that might be leaded. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> Safety squared. Engaged. Okay. What was that? Did somebody call us a power couple? They never sent the fucking break. Uh, I believe I can fly. Woo! Okay. We got. <laughs> That's the clip for the line. Here's the hoses. There should be two. We got you. Okay. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got a thermostat bar? Yep. 
Breather. Give her a little cut, a little drill. Really hot. You got two breathers. Torched or something. Oh yeah. Oh black. I gotta get that done this week. I gotta have. You fly with it? Uh, I put it on my carry-on or my uh, checked. There is no steel on it. I'll oh, sit. A 110 pump. Oh, yeah. Serious. Old school Holly. It says number four wire right to the positive. That's it. Just a reference, right? Right to the output, the main. Okay. Well, if we scrap this, it's probably a six pack of beer. Let's hang on to it. I would say you're probably not too far off. Like it. Studs. Yeah. Everything. God, was the coolest. Chuck. That's not supposed to happen. That's just old brake fluid. Seal shot. This no longer works. So it's getting new wheel cylinders, hardware, shoes, soft rubber line, hard line. I never got brakes, is what I'm saying. So that wasn't No. <laughs> brakes not included. <sighs> oh, do you guys let stuff spill on the floor? Okay. I usually just like. It really helps clean, right? Yeah. Can't hurt yeah. nothing. Oh, Cooper Sharp, that's the one. It's lunchtime, day one. All the good pizza places are closed on Monday here, so we are going to rock into some cheesesteaks. Show Derek what a real proper cheesesteak looks like and not from a chain store out, out of a gas station or whatever. Let's see what he thinks. That's a real deal. Not and it's 1 p.m., so we're going to start a banquet right here. Mm. All right, buddy. What we got? What are we doing? These are all basically cheesesteaks. You got some chicken cheesesteak. This has got American cheese. You like onions? Oh, yeah. Right. I need some heartburn. For sure. All right, I would dig into, just dig into that one. They're all very similar. Make sure you get a seeded roll. Seated rolls, key, huh? Yeah. You don't need that. Mm. Looking good. Oh yeah. Dig oh, in, boys. Here you go. I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna do a thicker one down here. Box it all back in, should be fine. Doing the brakes over here and the hardware kits, you can get these, they're fairly universal, but none of them come with the brake links in them, or shuttle, I call them, or this retainer up here, shoe retainer which holds the shoes from coming out. So I just made one out of a strap here. That'll go on there and hold those shoes in. We could find these, couldn't find these anywhere in town.
like vice grip? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they make special tools for it. Yeah. But <laughs> to heck with that noise. We don't need no special tools. You just need a vice grip. Oh, we have a drum brake tool set. Yeah, he just. Yeah. It's more on brand this way. Bro. He just shit on that, huh? <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Welded in a few reinforcements to that packed up subframe. It just had the one piece of angle iron. Uh, it went all right. I just had a couple more pieces of flat stock, kind of boxed it in, and then I will quickly hit it with some brake clean and some spray paint before Derek sees it. So. How you doing? Good? You good over there? It's fine. Yeah, worked out good. Keep doing what you're doing. I heard brake clean. Dinosaurs were still alive. Do you think we'd be their pets? Yeah, we would. Yeah. All day. I just, it'd be pretty sweet to roll around with a T-Rex, so, you know. Yeah, dude. Not wrong. No, you're gonna wear your chain around your waist, around your neck. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Pedestal's Loose. out all together? Yes. All right, we can start doing that, too. Let's ignore that. What I'm gonna do is pull this out, discover the bearing is bad, repack it, not replace the race that's worn, and just tighten it further. You know. With fresh grease, though. Fresh grease. Look at that. That is not bearing preload. But you want these loose when you drag race. It's less resistance. That's what I hear, Tony. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> well, our team guns are fine. Yep. Just do the outside. <laughs> Good to go. Yeah, it smells like it has 900 miles left. Running off through the something, something. Those poly locks at. No. <laughs> it's our universal spacer over here. This is poly locks on everything. <laughs> a poly lock? <laughs> yeah, they're like holding the intake manifold on my Lincoln, a bunch of other This would be a good parts getter. Yeah. It's gonna go like off of here. Yep. I'm gonna build like either some tubes or something to come off of here or off of here. I haven't gotten there yet. Whatever makes it the most stable. Show me again what we're talking about. Where's it supposed to be in space? Sounds like these guys are okay. building something to Apollo 11 back there. Tubes okay. and crossovers. Like make tabs to come off of here. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Scoot in there. You guys line dance? We what? Line dance? Line dance? Not usually here. There's some spots though. Mm. Where Zach's from is like. You know, they get out, they get down out there. Honestly, there's places east of Reading that do line dancing. We're not doing a full turn, just a performance one. Just a hot scuff. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You want to breathe all that dust in. It makes you strong. Yeah. Uh, it's just rust and asbestos. You know. Whew. 
We're getting there. Chef's kiss. That would be good. Yeah. Want to rebuild this thing? I got you. Yeah. Put a new drum on it. Wow. Chassis and owl. Look at that. Brand new. Yeah, you put new studs on it and everything. Incredible. Yeah, new wheel bearings. Dust cap. Upper ball joint. It's all new. We're running no gasket because real men don't run gaskets. Just the old room temperature vulcanization cream. If only I could take like a lay down RTV, that'd be pretty good. You're going to be holding that for a while. Heat was down. Barb, we're doing a check, spine check. Whoo! That's it. All right, slider out. Nice. You're gonna be in business here. It works. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. I can count to 28. So that's Proud of you. That's more fingers and toes than you have, so I'm impressed. That's a big deal. That's fair. <clears throat> Are you passing or throwing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'll just stand it in. Come on, baby. Let me give it a little wiggle. There it goes. Oh. There's a car there. Thank you. Ah! You're welcome. That was fine. My shoulders are burning, and I was just watching. That's you know the old Honda Maximuses. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just dropped in the Speedmaster uh, third member for the nine inch that came in the fair lane. This is a helical worm style LSD, so it won't chatter on the street. And it's a 411 gear because Derry told us to get him a highway gear and that's what we did instead. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big sorry, not sorry. Yeah. I said to get something that started with five. Well, yeah. that's what I was thinking I had in it. It was like a four. Oh, it would have been nuts. Or, yeah, you know probably that. five, it's five thirteen five or something. It can't be that bad. Okay, so Stay Tuned has been growing awesome, and it's been really cool this last nine months. Just full time thrashing. We're about to hit two hundred and fifty thousand subs. It's super appropriate that Derek is here because you guys don't know this, but. Uh, when we left Haggerty and we decided, can we do this full time on our own? I talked to a couple of successful big time YouTube dudes, but Derek was probably the most helpful. He looked at our numbers from when we were messing around kind of part time. Uh, and he told me, I think you said like, I tell a lot of people not to do this and you yeah. should do this. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I knew that you had to work ethic and the grind to make it happen. So sat down and ran the numbers and put together a spreadsheet for you guys and said, if you work hard, this is what you could do. And you guys are crushing it, man. Yeah. Well. We appreciate it, dude. It's been, it's been awesome. And we thank you guys all so much for watching yeah. and the support. And we are 995. We are ready to rock. 249,995,000 subs. And we appreciate every one of you. But we'd also like five more. So yeah. we can, I can drink this whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be five o'clock or 250,000 first? Who cares? Who cares? That's all it was, a slow down. Our guys are at work. They're hardworking guys. Yeah. yeah. Guys. And those 15 girls. <laughs> and go. Come on. Somebody call a distant relative and have them subscribe. Right now. Are you subscribed? Oh, yeah, man. Okay, good. Just checking. <laughs> Just checking. Just checking.
I'll drop on my other mail email. I was gonna say I might again. have a bunch of different channels I can just subscribe. Like I gotta be like that. Hold on. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Cheers! <laughs> Congratulations! Cheers! Two hundred and fifty thousand! Congratulations! Give me a. Appreciate all your hard work, buddy. Of course. <laughs> of course. Cheers! 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 Cheers. Two hundred fifty thousand. That feels good. <sighs> you wanna? Here's the 250 Woo! more, man. Oh, thanks, man. Hell yeah, thank you. <laughs> you bet. Awesome. You so the initial issue here was that the factory power steering pump resides here, which has a uh, pulley on it that we're no longer using because we're not using power steering. So I made basically a delete pulley setup. So we grabbed a ribbed idler and just stabbed up a little bracket. Comes off the cylinder heads, that way we can still use the full serpentine belt setup. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be able to wrap all the way around and turn the correct direction. Now I'm going to paint it. It looks great. All right, here we go. Give, one, give it a kiss. One little kiss. Right. Happy with that. So this guy here, if you press a button, now, boy. it locks this valve in. So you pump up the brakes, hold the button. And this basically holds the front brakes in position to where you can let off the brake pedal and your front's going to be locked. Your rear is free, so you would use this to do a burnout or heat the tires up, basically, or just, you know, street driving fun. Yeah, just nice. party time. Yeah, just it's party show time. Show off, look cool. We're going to try to keep it because it's pretty nostalgic and awesome. Yeah, scare your enemies, impress ladies, right. all of it. But we have a way around it if we need to. Have you ever done a burnout before? I've done a couple. They're, they weren't very impressive. Yep. No. Never My once. first time, no. Me, no. I'm hoping you can show me. <laughs> I was always very anti-line. I was always very anti-line lock when I got to Hot Rock because I was like, I just I just use my feet. Yeah, I'm not, I just use all three pedals on my two feet. It's fine. But it works fine. Yeah, and then you use one, you're like, oh, you can be it's super pretty, lazy. It's, it's so lazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I just do this. I just use my right foot and I do the gas and the brake. Yeah. But it has to be, the pedals have to be the right height, which makes it annoying. And then they were like, well, everything here is going to be a disaster. And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll try that. I think I got to take this all the way out for this to spin around. Should we put power to it and see if it clicks first? Just before we start doing this dance? Sure. It's a great What's up? The line came off, didn't break. That ain't right. What'd you do? That just saved. It's supposed to break. I don't know, it's supposed to twist It's right supposed up. to come out of the mare cylinder, but then be fused to the line. That saved 30 minutes. Sweet. Keep going. That one. Yeah. I got a heat juice trick. We'll try it though. See if it works. <laughs> We are. Keep going. We're doing a lot of things. You shove a crayon in there? What's our plan here? PP blaster. There you go. Um, thank you. The old peanut butter blaster. Oh, yeah, baby. We got lights in here now. Yeah, see? I told you that's what I'm doing. All right. Yes. That's fine. See if that I got every light and in, in, you're in up. business here. Everything's lit up. Got headlights? Nope. Nope. That's all right. We'll deal with that later. Interior yeah. looks great though. <laughs> Ready? Click it. Oh, uh, A light comes on the dash when you do it. Seriously? It's... Nothing. You turn the key? Is it on? Yeah, that works. The starter relay works. All right, I like that. Key is on, right? It is now. Yeah. Nothing. I love the light. The light is sick, though. <laughs> <laughs> I heard one click. Might have been, oh, the nitrous is cut. I'm going to hold it. Keep not here. I don't have a very good hammer. Try it now. No. Mm -mm. We could pretend. I like it. 
I love pretending. It was made for a four speed. There's no punch out in there or anything? I... That's not wondering. <laughs> this is funner watching than doing, I have to say. I think it always does. All right, there you go. It's uh, not a place I'd want to lay down. Yeah. It's out. Oh, it's out. So now, probably start with the vacuum. He did have a dog. Yeah. This looks so low. It's very low. You ready? Yeah, we're gonna have to drop the, we can finally drop the motor in. Zimmy just showed up. He picked up these uh, small block pedestals that will go into the 66, 67. It's the only years these were, this exact piece was made. These are like impossible to find. Barb found them squinting in the back of an eBay ad yeah. and then messaged the guy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and he's local enough and Zimmy ran out an hour and a half to get him. Apparently he's a big Vice Grip fan, so. That's cool. He's Pretty stoked. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. New sub to stay tuned, I heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is cool. Who are you? Just a guy. Ah. Just a guy trying to do a thing. All right, let's rip that out and put him. But anyway, because this had the big block set up, we needed these to kind of complete the whole process. So now we can throw the engine in. It's like 8 o'clock at night. Motor trans are together. We're going to make a trans cross member real quick, measure for the drive shaft, and then go pass out. <sighs> It There's does. There's a lot fit. of noise happening. Yeah. Yeah, we had to put a chain on that. We got to, might as well move the welder too. I feel too. less of a man watching this happen right now. I have a Harbor Freight cherry picker in my shop, and you got this <laughs> 1940s I mean, man hoist. It's just made for lifting up giant giant guns. <laughs> just like 12 inch. Gunship barrels. That's probably where this gentleman's sitting. Alright. My body's ready. I just lift it, but that works. You good? Yeah, we're gonna drop in our slightly warmed up 302. And this T5 into Derek's 67 Fairlane, X-Drag Ripper. Somebody work the chain? I'm going to lift and you can step on it. Microwave 302. What is it? Microwave. Yeah. Yeah, she got a little heat on her. Barb, come back with this. You need the in and out. Barb, you worked the in and out. You need the in and out. The old in and out. All right, we're sliding in the third. Oop. Keep going, it's fine. I usually work the angle on this end. Which way are you going, Barb? In or out? I'm going in. All right. That, you got uh, in some the front. Yes, I do. Thanks for noticing. I've been working on it. Well, let's get clear first. The oh, shifter yeah. is going to find its home. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's going to mark right where we have to cut a hole. Ooh. That's it. Uh, she's right in the ballpark. Somebody stop there, throw a jack under the trans, and we'll try to swing it back. This is going to be a problem. I'm excited for this car, big time. Big time. Oh. All right, that's. We need like two inches. Story of my life. I'm here. We're good on this it's side. Great. You already up on it? Let's stop there, Zim. Yeah. It's gonna fall down. I need like I gotta get it back. Oh, yeah. oh go up again. You gotta go back. Yeah, you're good. Oh, I had it. Mine's on. How about now? Can you get them in? Hold oh, on. If I give you a little slide this way, does that help you? You want to throw a strap under this thing, we'll put it up to the sky, and then we'll make a mount? I'm just using that V12, though. 
You want to order a dinner, Barb? What are you thinking? Okay, come on. Oh, it's a terrible idea. Lord have mercy. Come on. Oh, ah, stop. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Hey, I'm do it. <laughs> Somebody get a also, tape measure and let's do this thing. This is the 80s, so it was probably jacked up. Yeah. Uh, probably have some height here. 68 and three quarter inches. That's everything we do, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the center of the U-joint, so right on that, that flange. Flange. 60 here. and a quarter. Yeah. Or 61 and one quarter. Perfect. Tell them. Perfection. Knock a quarter off just for good luck. Yeah, well, we always, always do, do that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want output, 61. They don't want output Which shaft or depth of the he shaft or nothing. He knows. They know. They don't give a shit. Yeah. Is that the RX-7 that we eyeballed? Yeah, I'm like, bones? it's like 33 <laughs> minus 4 plus whatever. Yeah, that's it. Pull on it. I got her, I got her there. That's very hot on my hand. So I bet it is. It definitely penetrated. It Let's did, try the other one. Absolutely did not. You got it? Yep. I can't feel that one, so we're good. <laughs> the other one did <laughs> not at all. <laughs> that Come one on. did not penetrate. Pick it back up, pick it back up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Barb was right, he said that definitely did not. It did not. He's <laughs> like, that definitely penetrated. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, I smell that one again. Ouch! <laughs> Woo! Ouch! <laughs> Woo! I feel like it's probably pretty warm. Is it a hot one? There oh. we go. Ooh, Jesus. There we go. Look at that. That's Give it trans. to me. That's crooked as fuck. Here we go. Let Tony melt it in and we'll be good. <laughs> there you go, bud. It looks great. What are you talking about? Hold it in space. It's like a fucking right? glove. Look, there's a driver's side, there's a passenger side. That's all we need to know. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. Miller, the welder for Matt. Does it matter if I go up top here? Is it going to mess it up? No. We always got flap this. I'm more of a grinder than a welder. You just do your thing, I'll do mine. <laughs> This is extremely hot. I would not recommend holding this. I wouldn't, no. Thank you. Um, where do we... Is this thing even on weld? My eyes hurt. Pull down here. It's not like a... It's too f***ing long, dude. Everything I try to drink has whiskey in it. Fuck. All my cups. <laughs> so all we need is some I'm paint, tight. like a paint marker or something. We can just. What size are those? Uh, there are three eight sixteen. My eights. The Get lava the stick. Blaster, bud. Look at this. You weld that on That's there. Incredible. We do a gusset right <laughs> here. A gusset at the back. You'll be all right. Wait. Big reclaim guy. <laughs> Weld it on, and we'll just take a death wheel and yeah, cut off all the sharp parts. Yeah, easy. All right. This this is custom with the K. Are your eyes invisible? Yeah, let me see that. So. I was getting there. There's nowhere to go. I mean, it's it's almost Ringling Brothers quality. The circus guys? Yeah, that's cool. I think he meant Ring Brothers. No, no, he meant Ring Brothers. They're too good. He meant the circus, the circus guys. guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rockin', all right, it is 9.30. We're gonna go try to find a place that'll still serve us some. What is this? Meats and beers. And, but we're going through this list. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Did we, we're, right, we're almost done here, fellas. <laughs> we yeah. didn't do pizza. We didn't do pizza. It's ah. a Wednesday. Right, let's get a nice cross member. Sorry, I'm sorry. Also, I moved the seat. Uh, you, you, I don't think that technically, you moved it out of the car. You gotta put, <laughs> when you put it back in, we'll, we'll stroke that one out. It does not specify. 
Also, half. right brakes. Half them. Half. Oh 50%. my god, stop, stop, stop! <laughs> stop. We got three more days of this. Tonight. We're ready to rock. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Drop that carburetor on there. Give it to him. Hey, you put it on backwards because you forward stuff, I think. There she is. Look at that. Go ahead and rev it up. He gets excited about that. Oh, it's flooded now. Yep. <laughs> Wrecked it. <laughs> All right, it's a new morning here in the shop. Everyone is moving a little bit slowly. Big day yesterday. Uh, we had 250,000 subs. Derek kept our mugs pretty full of all sorts of <laughs> dad juice and adult beverages. So we're feeling it a little bit. But we're gonna get rocking. We're gonna get this fairly fired up motor in the car today. Uh, what do we need? Fuel system, entire fuel system, cooling system. We got a belt now. We have to do some wiring. Install clutch pedal. That one's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a bear for sure. And bleed everything except ourselves. All right, and we did order our drive shaft from what's your boy's Hartman, Hartman drive shaft up in Reading, and they'll be blazing on that thing today. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Uh, we built this. This trans cross number, real quick and dirty, and looking back on it, it's lower than everything in the car, and it could probably be up three inches if I rework it a little bit. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, Derek is doing brake lines, trying to get the braking system done. He is a drum brake wizard. Absolute wizard. So that's my least favorite thing to do in a car. So he has been knocking through. You've done all of them already. And he spray painted them so they're fully <laughs> restored. So that's <laughs> nice. So we're rocking and rolling. Goal today is to get this thing fired up in this car. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's just a stock engine. Are we still doing that thing? No. Not over. Forget <laughs> it. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> nope. Close. Sorry, I thought. I think if I put the mounts like this, then we got a chance of really using this curve in it, getting it up top here where it should be. Well, once I cut it. But yeah, basically like that. It'll be up there. Then we freed up all this space by getting this thing up here. That's why it's got a curve in it. We'll just come off with it a plate in here and then we're using that space much more effectively and then we'll have space for the exhaust. Because the way it was, it's just not going to work happily. Is he saying Whiskey Fab Garage didn't do a very good job? Yeah. Oh. That's weird. It looked really good last night. Mm. What do you got going on back here? Well, I am going to start running the fuel line for the vehicle. Uh, we got a fuel cell coming that's going to sit the tank back here and a fuel pump. You know, the old Holly Blue. You want to hear when they're running from the driver's seat, so we're going to go with the blue pump. And I'm just going to run this down the fuel rail on the inside of the rail all the way up, stub it up to the firewall, and then... Did we, did we get a firewall or a wall-mounted one? Or like a Regulator. firewall mounted? Or is it in line on the carb? Regulator? Yeah. I have both brackets. Okay, well, you either end or we're going to be mounting things up in the engine compartment. Probably not use this fuel system to fire it today, but just getting it prepped anyway. Get a much better fitting mount in the light of day. I'm going to just finish welding it up. We're going to probably even paint it because Derek's out running, picking up some parts and uh, put it back in. I'm going to ground it first.
Look at this little cutie. I'm gonna toss this in. It's gonna fit and it's gonna go down the track or something. Is it, is it, is it 11 o'clock a.m. already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this beauty. It's actually too nice. It doesn't match the rest of the car. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Somebody put some nuts on here. Something. I think it looks exactly like the one last night. It's black though. <laughs> it's like the same thing. <laughs> yeah. No. It's well, it better. Look at that. It's stained. All right, where's the music pipes at? Gaskets are in the back. We got to reuse the first ones we, we used. They got a little material off them, but they'll be fine. Oh, wow. It's not like a Mopar where you got to take yeah, the where body off. Yeah, it takes two system. days. It takes two days for you to do it, and then it takes two weeks off your life for how hard it is. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is different. We got some... Uh, Those Summit headers fit like a glove, baby. Go for it. You got it, thing one and thing two. You guys good? Why is it always me that matches somebody? I don't know. You and I match all the time. Yeah. <laughs> me and Mike that one day were in the same thing. It's a good look. You can just feel it when you come in and you're like, here yeah. we are. Oh, now they're calling me. There's a new Holland 572 Haybine for free down the road. Yeah, dude. You think you can drive that in Tennessee? I could pull it. Yeah. With this? Yeah. I guess I think this is your insurance company. Derek and Zach were installing the headers and I went to turn the engine over to TDC so I could stab the distributor back in. And it just froze on me. And we are thinking that the bolts are flywheel are too long. It does not want to spin. And uh, now we have to take the transmission back out. So the headers are back down and out. Then we're gonna whip this thing out, adjust adjust the length and uh, stick it back in. Sometimes it's fun to do everything two or three times. Oh, you gotta get practice, you know. Yeah. First time you do it, it takes forever. Second time is way better. You gonna catch this? I'll catch it, sure. It's the T5, right? Yeah. Pretty much. We should be able to. Good? Yeah. Let's do it, I guess. Ready? Oh, yeah. Light work. Come on. I think the fuel, like the fuel inlet for the carburetor? Nope. The motor mounts are doing motor mount things. Oh, cool. Nice. They were sitting Is on it? there. Probably. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you meant to do that. I'll put the cross member right where it needs to be. Okay. Here All we right. go. So try to spin it now. Just to confirm it's not anything in that little gearbox, which really doesn't weigh more. Yeah. I think there, there's, there's, Pretty burly, dude. Didn't feel like I was doing much on my end. Oh boy. Well, good news and bad news. <laughs> <laughs> good news. Good Butter. News. Motor spins beautifully. <laughs> Butter. Motor is gorgeous. I guess nobody ever spun that, did No, I don't think so. Bad news, I think. Oh. Huh? What's that? What's happening? This is spinning iron for me. Okay. Is the pilot bearing the right one? I'm wondering if it's maybe it got jammed in there. So hard. See how long that is? I do. Where's your uh, dial caliper? Let's no, see. it's not even that. Look, the clutch is catching the bell well, housing. Sure enough. There it is. Yeah, so we'll see witness marks. Right there. Yeah. Clutch or fly off? It's the clutch. Uh, pressure plate. plate. Right here. If you come on this side, you can see the witness mark. Okay. That little flap wheel action should be fine. Yeah, just get a just, just get a roll lock and. Uh, so I'm making a little bit of room there and we had forgotten the kind of shim that goes behind the flywheel. So Derek's throwing that in. 
which is going to space this back just about probably, you know, 60, 100 thou. So both things are going to help it spin. We're going to bolt it back together and check it out. <laughs> Barb, you all right, buddy? <laughs> just real fast. Hey, we don't got time to mess around. Woo! That was fun. I always saw that on the internet. I always gonna try that. It's good. The second one was hot, was a heater, but we didn't catch it. We didn't capture it. I think your first one was the most surprising. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that one? You're lucky my leg took most of the blast. <laughs> your face got the rest and a little bit on the lens there. That was yeah, wild. Let me give that a wipe down. What do you think? Try to turn it this way. Back, back, back. Go ahead, in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. We gotta go counterclockwise. Am I missing something here? We gotta go this way. Which way? That way. Right oh, that's there. the groove. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, good. It's in. Same tight. thing. It's pretty tight. Same thing, my friend. Yeah. Well, we know the procedure. Yeah. Okay. That's this here, right? Yeah. Okay. Gotta go In higher. Farther. Yeah. All right. We're gonna make a mess now. So, but get Do you want to take the bell housing off this time? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We've grinded down some more. Give her a spin. Okay. And we realize we can just put the bell housing in to save us 75 pounds in the air. <laughs> I hear it. You hear it? Yep. Is it better? I felt it. Yeah. Man. So do we have a bigger clutch though? We have an 11 inch clutch for sure. See, it doesn't hit there, but it comes around. You going? It's that one pad. Is that it? I can't really get this wrench in here. Clear. Clear. It's rolling now. That's a little nothing. Do a little more. Yeah, go back and forth, trying to mark it up. I mean, it'll sell clearance, right? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> you can take this sucker up to about seven grand. It'll make some space. Uh, nope. Still stuck? Yeah. I couldn't even back it up. I loosened the bolt. All right, let's keep it. You're pulling it off. You hear it? Yeah, you're cutting. All right. Six time is the charm, it seems like. Derek laid his hands on the death wheel and took just enough aluminum dust out of this thing. And it's spinning smooth. So, let's stab, let's stab this. So, we got an aluminum radiator that's going to go in here, a cold case unit. And it's not quite vehicle specific for this model. And we have to do some slight modifications here. We want to bring it farther back so we can get the digital fan in. Tried slightly modifying this with some professional fab tools and it's still kind of in the way. So, you know, I'm gonna just snip this out and then the rad isn't gonna rub on this and put 48 holes in it on my 900 mile drive home day after tomorrow. We, we're ready to weld in our little radiator mounts. Derek, rightfully so, was like, let's get this PAPS can free and clear so we don't melt it. 
because it's obviously one of the best parts of the car. It's a pretty rare option. You don't see them a lot. Yeah. It was a. This is a legit pop top sucker right here. Mm -hmm. This is where you pull ring, boom, throw it in the woods. Don't. What's the vintage? Oh. This smells like manure, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's like a snake death for the toenails <laughs> or something. It's not good. That's crazy. It's like a like a there's a it's like the, a mouse sex cult. Did the bottom is solid. Group suicide in there. Like it's like an inch of yeah. There's no drink in this. I don't think. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's not good. It's not good. Well. You might not see Tony next week. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it that? smells just on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Barb smell is. Oh, it's for real. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah. Uh, I'm not. I'll, I'll eat gas and oil, but I ain't eating that. Mm -mm. This is neither one of those. But at least it's out of the way now. We don't want to melt that thing. That's true. Or damage it, so. Yeah. Priorities are. This Paps is terrible. These are different recipe back in the day, we I should, think. Uh, hey, do you have Google image search on your pocket computer device? Yes, sir. Phone? Snap that thing up and see what we got. I'm going to say like 70 to 75. I'm with you. Based on this car, I think mid 70s is when everything, they just put it away. Smells so bad. Is that it? That's the one, right? No, that's newer. Oh okay. man, <laughs> that's it. This this is a tall boy. That just looks better. Yeah, hold on. I don't know what he was doing. Oh. Yeah, this is a sixteen. Seventy-seven says a genuine Bach on it. I think. It's, this one doesn't say that. It's earlier. 74 rocket bottom. You got a rock? I don't know these terms. I want to look it up. I think we could talk about it farther away from the can. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> the moment has come. It is time to hit Derek with some proper East Coast pizza for the first time. This is not a regular pizza spot, but it's a killer one. This is more like you know, artisan Italian style, but you're gonna love it. Uh, let's dig in. It's late, it's like eight o'clock on our second night. We have been ripping through it. So there's like a margarita. This is their Covacino. It's like arugula and prosciutto and it's delicious. And if y'all don't know, people had asked and we said, it's cool. If you wanna buy us a pizza, we have a donate us a pizza button. I don't know if you know this. That's pretty awesome. It's actually. pretty cool. It goes yeah. up here, right here in this venerable city. And we had, since I think, People are excited that you're here a little bit. Yeah. And they hit us with some good ones. So nice. we, we appreciate it. People that bought us pizza this week. Um, so far, Christian Bartolome, uh, Alan Pierre Davis, Christopher Hadjinian, uh, Jep Longvig with the O with the line through it. I think that's like a Norway Norwegian it's thing. A, yeah. yeah. Anyway, y'all are awesome. We're going to dig in. You know we are a pizza team with a raising problem. That's how we do it here. This looks right. amazing. Yes, dig in. Okay. Dig in. And this is great, but we're going to show you more sliced pizza tomorrow. Here. What are you doing? Were I'm, you going to feed it to me? I was going to, yeah. Oh. Like I, do you want to do the... Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's, that's pretty awesome. It's pretty good. Mm. All right, Barb. Dig in, baby. So it's my goal for the night is that Derek can sit in the car, fire it up, stab the gas pedal, and it will rev up. We'll have coolant in it. It'll run for a while. That's what I want to get to. And Derek yeeted the old throttle rod into space before we uh, put the motor in. So I found this off a toolbox I've had for like 25 years. Actually, I think this was my buddy Chris Forsberg's uncle's or dad's box from way back in the day, but I kept it around. And up here are these little 1 8 dowels. So I pulled one off and I put one bend in it already. I'm going to put another one in in a second. Then we'll try to drill them for cotter fins. That's going to be real interesting. And then I'm just going to. Oh, nice. 
nice tight bend there. That's a perfect 90. Pretty good. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's see how far over it's got to go and we'll, we'll rock and roll. You can hit it here on both ends. Maybe put a washer on the one both side. Both sides. Yeah, I'll do a little, I can do a little tack of weld, yeah. face a washer on it, and let it pull. I like that. All right. This thing's going to be flooded. <laughs> Is it pulling? Oh, I hit the oh. pump spring on accident. I'll do one like right there. I need a washer. No, I'll slide a washer there. We'll cut it there. And then we gotta drill a hole. Boop. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I might have like a safety wire drill fixture, but I gotta look. Ugh. There's the bandsaw he's not using. There he is. Mm -hmm. Look at him, he's glorious. <laughs> just a couple tacks will be fine. I just don't wanna I don't wanna wind up welding these vice grips to this rod. Now Derek will just leave it on there and start driving around with it. <coughs> Looking good. Sweet. Pull it all the way up. We are trying to find some power. We're getting close to firing this thing up. We did a... There is just... Awful crusty old wires, but we're going to use them for now because we just want to hear this thing roar to life. You pull the start off the solenoid, the left one. There we go. I'm trying to jump 12 volts from one of the original wires. Yeah, we're looking for it. You got an ignition on? Okay, on. Nope. Nothing, huh? Not a damn thing. Oh, yeah. wait, there's a switch in there. Nothing still? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Still nothing? Oh wait, I got no power to the car. I'm not getting lights or beep boops or anything. How okay, so it is the big one. Which would make sense because it probably comes out of this jam with somewhere. Alright, that's the guy. That's all we need, right? That plus the crank. Alright, you work on uh you work on some fuel setup. Fill a hole in a whiskey bottle or something. And I'm gonna wire the car up. And then we're gonna fire it up. We are right there. Getting close. I connected a couple wires. Fire's getting some gas. We're gonna fire this thing up. Get excited. I'm excited, baby. You know, sit in there, look at your gauges, rev it up on the, on the pedal. Turn the key. Incredible. Yeah, the key actually works, which is yeah. I'm not used to that. Mm -hmm. Comes right out the pump here, buddy. You probably have that too, though, in Tennessee. Yeah, we have one tennis pump. What? Yeah, we got a time same. machine down there. Okay, and I create a fuel cell here. Yep. Get the uh, official mounting strap. You bring down the. Uh... You're gonna get blasted. <laughs> oh. Living dangerous. There we go. And uh, I gotta install a rollover vent on the top here. You got to run it until it runs out now. Well, here we go. You want me to get in? I think you should get in. Pretend like it's your car, because it is. We got a dome light. You got a dome light. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. this is good. How you fit in there? So this is actually pretty good right now. We, we're thinking about moving the seat, but I think I'm done. We just take the back pad and throw it against the bar. You know, got everything I need. No, oh, besides the radio, but that's okay. Ready to rock. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this. Donkey Kong and Mario Kart? 
Yeah. It's just the thought. It just went in my head a little bit. I usually get Bowser. Bowser. I can see that. Check this out. You ready? Um, is the Dizzy reclipped? It's not. Ready to do the thing? Ready to do the thing? We're gonna bring the thunder. Bring the thunder. Hey. I'm a crumbing thrashing for a couple of very long days. The 302 that's totally stock. Never forget it. Uh, <laughs> is back in the car, and Derek's gonna hear it for the first time. I'm pumped. It's leaking water like crazy. We'll deal with that later. I ran a couple wires. We made a bunch of moves. He's in there. He can. Fl He's got a gas pedal. He's got a, a key to turn. Hold on, I'm getting there. All right. All right, buddy. Ready? Straight off the headers. Is this squirting? Oh, it's squirting. I don't think we have fire. Real quick, real quick. That's the thing. Red is there. That's the one. Let me just check on. Sure. Let me just check on this one thing. Oh boy. Hold on. Don't move. I'm also grounded through the valve cover. Probably not the best place. Feels like something. All right, go ahead. There okay. We go. Oh, there we go. I don't want that much fuel. No. Timing's off. Yeah. Give me a sec. I realized all, you know what the problem was? You didn't say bring the thunder. What well, say? yeah. I, it'll happen this time. Here we go. Derek's all right, car's ready? About to run. Don't forget you're the key. Yes. <laughs> I'm the key. <laughs> Hit all it. right. Bring the thunder. Nothing. Oh, Good. yeah. Wait, why not? Oh, the thing. Yeah, you took off the. Hold on. I'm both keys now. Hit it. Now I'm ready. Oh. Stop. You saw that? I did. It's arcing against the. Hold on. Some okay. of our spark is leaking? Yeah, a little leaky spark. Hit it. Hey! Oh, it's close. We got oil pressure. More? More timing. More timing. Just spinny this way, right? Here we go. Go ahead. I like that. That was a, that that was a hard twist. <laughs> yeah! Come on! Wake up! Yeah! Oh! Maybe a little more? More? Let's give her a little more. Okay.
he sounds all right. He needs a lot of muffler, though. <laughs> yeah, he's going to need some. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> Woo! Dude, it sounds great. Yeah. She perked right up. We got to do a little bit of carb tuna, but that comes later. Yeah. Turn the idle down as low as you can, really let it chop as hard as it yeah, will. Yeah, get the potato, potato. Yeah, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, a little hot for teacher. Oh, it's so good. So what good. do we got left? We got hydraulics, brake, clutch, brake, pedal. clutch, figure out the leaks, cooling, wire the whole thing, and add a fuel cell. And a seat. Yeah, and a seat. That's and we're going to take it out and see what this thing can do, and then you're going to drive it to Tennessee. Okay. We're getting somewhere. If we have time, can we like... Oh, never mind. I was going to ask for a headlight, but I'm getting greedy. No, oh, we'll I'll make that out later. <laughs> like for your own head? We can do that. I have one of those. I got you, buddy. Oh, nice. Fun. Dude, it sounds me. good. That is it for this episode of Stay Tuned. This has been a monster thrash. I'm super stoked. Uh, we're going to come back to this project ASAP. Get the fair lane out rocking and ripping down the road. I cannot wait. I'm excited, man. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Good looking car. And you had some pizza. The pizza was... You did not steer me wrong on the pizza. There's more coming. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.